have seen over the last few years uh, tremendous growth in the amount of information we can get from a variety of sources, whether it's traffic information, real time, weather information is being more refined, volumes and other information about how traffic flows on the, on the system are getting more robust, but we weren't able to combine it into a way that really helped us operate. The CAR program is catch it early, act, analyze and review. And it's been helpful for us. It's uh, reduced our time on the roadway and it's got our customers moving faster. So we have a lot of different data. Uh, we have data coming in every 30 seconds. We have data coming in every two minutes. Uh, we have Waze data coming in. We have speed data coming in. We also have weather data coming in. So uh, the start of CAR was, let's gather all this information that, that comes from multiple sources and, multiple, and crowdsourcing and put it into an application. We actually divide all of that information up into half mile segments. So every two minutes, the early warning detection tool actually reaches out to Waze, reaches out to Interex, and reaches out to Weather, and gets that half mile segment of what's happening in the half mile segment. So it gives the duty officer a way of looking at that half mile segment every two minutes to see what's happening on the roadway. In terms of the volumes of data that we are uh, processing and working on on a daily basis, it's, it's vast amounts of data that is fed right through for visualization, for best situation awareness of what's going on, as well as being collected for analysis of it on the back end as well for trends. We can actually go on here and if we see an incident and it shows that there's a slowdown in a specific area, then what we can do is we can click on that incident, pull it up, and see exactly what's going on. And by utilizing that one system that pulls resources from different programs, it gives us a better view of what's going on out there on the roadway. The catch it early piece of it is, to catch it early, we use an early warning detection tool, which um, kind of brings third party and crowdsourcing together and gives a, a, an overall picture of the each half mile segment of the roadway. And the ACT piece of it is, is a TIMS viewer, which is our uh, GIS application. And that gives us a good overall view of who's there, who needs to respond, what's happening at the scene, and what the backlog is at the, at, at the actual scene. The after action review is afterwards we, we get together and we, uh, we have to understand how we responded, can we, could we respond differently, how we could do things better. Our biggest challenge is keeping an eye on the 552 miles of roadway that anything can happen on at any time. Our duty officers have about uh, eight, eight or nine different screens they actually monitor, about 15 to 18 different applications they actually have to go through. And that could be from social media, to the CAD system, to our new ATMS system, which controls the signs and uh, helps with traffic, and just multiple things. Twitter, they look at just different stuff that they need to look at in order to monitor roadway. And they uh, look at the cameras that we have on, on the roadway and monitor the speeds. So, they have multiple different applications they need to look at. And once they respond, or start to respond to an incident, they have to do multiple things. Call people, make sure that uh, everybody's dispatched to the actual scene, make sure everybody's safe, and make sure that, you know, that we're doing the right things at the right time. Some of the typical scenarios that we will encounter range from the simple ones of disabled vehicles to commercial vehicles with major blockages and hazmat issues and, and what comes into play with all those as well are weather events. If we have uh, snow or rain or any kind of weather event that would come into play that would cause issues on the turnpike. For the duty officers, it just makes their job a lot easier. Instead of looking at six different screens, we kind of brought all, that, all those data sources together, but it gives them an active watch points along the roadway for that 552 miles that they can monitor and makes their job easier. We have a stellar group of individuals who are very interested in the areas that they've been working, whether it's GIS or traffic operations uh, or roadway maintenance. And over the past few years, those folks have been uh, really beginning to develop new ideas and uh, concepts from around the world uh, in putting things together. And we've just allowed them to uh, go through that process with an understanding that what we're looking for is a better performance out on the highway. We are continually working to improve, become more efficient, and essentially working toward becoming a, uh, helping the organization become a data-driven organization. More data, better data, better access to the data, 
And, but it's all, keep in mind that it's all tied to solving the business needs. I mean, there are a lot of things you can make just to make them, but we are really driven by how's this gonna help a given business area to become safer, more efficient, uh, cost savings, and it's really driven by the value that it brings to the business areas. Predicting what's going to happen on the roadway before it becomes a major issue is something that allows us to respond more quickly. With 552 miles of roadway, we can't be everywhere all the time, but minutes count when it comes to operating the roadway safely. So when we can get, have an idea that there is something about to happen or should happen based on the, uh, this, the scenarios that are playing themselves out on the road, we can begin to deploy quickly, and that allows us to be uh, where we need to be better and faster. The more of a heads up we can give those who are operationally addressing the issues at hand, to shave off the seconds, minutes to better respond and, and get a free-flowing roadway to keep people safe, that's the intent. It is critical that we know as soon as possible if there's an issue out on the roadway so that we can take necessary steps to avoid extended delays. And this the entire program actually reduced, um, we were at an hour and 46 minutes um, when the pro program started and now we're an hour and 18 minutes to actually get the incident cleared and traffic back to normal. And it gets our guys off the road. The ways in which this could change over time are yet to be imagined. Um, there are whole hosts of ways that we can use this information to communicate directly with customers, um, helping them better see what they're not seeing now in roadway signs, for example, uh, getting that information directly to a, to a motorist when they need it most. Um, we see that as, as one of the great challenges of, of our operations is really telling people what's ahead of them. I say it frequently, nobody ever expects to stop on an interstate highway. If we can get them the information they need that there is something ahead, different and dangerous, um, we can make a big difference in reducing crashes and saving lives. I'm particularly proud of the, of the way our team came together in understanding that beyond their own individual roles, they now are looking at how this affects maintenance and how it affects motorists that they may never meet and how it affects uh, just the overall safety of Pennsylvanians uh, and our ability to meet our mission. So they, there was a lot of people coming together from a variety of different um, walks of life and it made the project better.